Now it's time for Talking with Joe. Joe Rose live from the 560, the Joe WQAM studios this morning. All right, Joe, so a new report out. The Dolphins possibly closing in on a four-year extension for wide receiver Jakeem Grant. He's coming off an injury. Is this a good thing for the Finns, considering he was hurt? What does this mean? This is a pretty big commitment. Well, I think everybody's kind of surprised because he's been injured. Lauren, he hasn't played in the last couple of weeks, but he is their most explosive player. He's a threat. We saw in the little bit he played. It also tells me the doctors have looked him over and think he's very he's going to be healthy and fine. Uh, I'm curious to see what the numbers going to look like, but good for Jakeem. I, I, I think all those young guys they need to sign are going to be over $100 million under the salary cap for next year. He's one of the guys that's in the plans from the things that he did a year ago. And just to start this camp, he looks so quick, having a great camp, and then shut it down here over the last couple of weeks. But they think he's going to be back and ready to go in a couple of weeks. So good for him. It's been a great story. Uh, a small, small guy that's made so many explosive plays for the Miami Dolphins before his injury and a great punt and kickoff returner. So he really does add a, a, a threat and help this offense with explosive play. So, so good for him. Joe, as someone who is five feet tall, I say good things come in small packages. So good for him indeed. Let's see That's what right. he could do That's moving right. forward. Okay, Joe, I'm really eager to get your take on this next hot topic here this morning. Yesterday at Dolphins practice, head okay. coach Brian Flores played eight straight Jay-Z songs. Jay-Z obviously in the news lately because of his partnership with the NFL. Some controversy surrounding that. Kenny Stills just the day before had some strong comments about that Jay-Z slash NFL partnership. So Joe, what do you think about this? Was this a dig at Kenny Stills? I'm thinking maybe he was just trying to get him fired up. What do you think? Lauren, I got 99 problems, but you're not one. I can just start with that this morning. I, I, I like just want to start like right it. there, but you know what? <laughs> Thank you. CBS in the morning is not one. Good. You know what? I, I, I just look at this thing overall with Coach Flores. I don't know. I mean, it is kind of weird. He plays nine straight songs, and Kenny Stills must have said, all right, Coach, I got the message, okay? You're, you're a big fan, or, or you want to get me going today, or whatever it is. <laughs> I know it's become a, a huge story. I don't think Kenny Stills is going to be bothered by this. I, I really don't. I don't think he dislikes Jay-Z. Uh, I think he wants to see how this whole thing's going to turn out for what he believes in. Uh, Coach Flores and Kenny Stills have had a lot of conversation. And Coach Flores worried about winning football games. Yeah. He got a lot more problems than trying to egg on one of his better players on the team. Uh, so I, I just have trouble believing that Coach Flores, who's trying to figure out and put this 53-man roster together. And by the way, it's not going to be easy because they don't have 53 good players Oof. on this team right now. So, uh, so, yeah, he's got other things to worry about. I have tr trouble believing Coach Flores came down and asked his music guy at the stadium, hey, Let's go heavy Jay-Z today and get everybody going. <laughs> so 53 problems, Kinda not 99 problems for the Dolphins and Coach Brian Yeah, he got Flores. 53 problems. 53 hey, problems. There you go. He's got to You're solve creative very today. quickly. No All right, Joe. We will talk to you <laughs> in good. the next hour. Hopefully we'll see you soon. I got Have a good one. 53 problems and you ain't one. Aww. All right. We goodbye. love you, Joe. You take Bye -bye. care.